Uh, Chuck and his wife are both Navy vets, and they plan on attending a Burns dinner. He's going to be wearing a PC with his mini medals. Um, typically, he's saying the woman would normally wear a kilted skirt, um, white blouse and sash. His wife also has medals that she wants to show off. Uh, the medal mm, has okay. a dinner dress jacket for the female uniform. So could she wear her military medals with that? Would that be appropriate with a kilted skirt? She did the service. I say do it. Yeah. Frankly. Those, oh, may I? Just, yeah. Just real quick, what's in my head is that a lot of the conventions we're talking about um, are – just that. They're conventions. They're not hard and fast rules set in stone. You're going to be drummed out of the clan if you break the rule. Or the um, ball. Or the ball. Um, and they were set up in a time when you didn't have women serving in the military or in many other aspects of society for that matter. So they're aimed towards that kind of mentality. Uh, we're talking about the modern day. I would say that she should be able to find a way that expresses her pride in what she's accomplished you know, and, and and still look good. You know, as long as the outfit is tastefully put together, I'm not worried about... Yeah, that's you know that's I mean? more the, the where my brain is going, yeah. is if if she's wearing a military jacket, would that go with a kilted skirt? And I'm trying to picture it in my head. Hmm. Um, because it's... this The military jacket and, you know, a it's uniform very, style very, shirt is going to be very... Sharply tailored, very, yeah, angu very angular. Sharply tailored and yeah. very um, masculine from a... Like, it's... it's it, if it's if it's a jacket that's being issued to her for a dress uniform, I'd assume it's cut appropriately. Yeah, but it's but, it's still it's not like long, flowy, and that kind of thing. Do so you think the um, softness of a kilted skirt would clash with the tight, sharp angles could, of a of a jacket? Could um, okay. it's I'm just not it's it, it would kind of look like you're mixing and matching genres, so to speak. Maybe. Um, and it's just because it's I'm not used to seeing it together. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's. It's not the the British. It's not done, but it's the like I haven't seen it done, yeah. so I couldn't say whether it would be good or bad. Um, I would really I would say just leave it up to her. If and get dressed before the event. Try it on days before the event yeah. and wear it around the house. Or the other thing we've said before, you take have her dress up and you take a picture of her wearing it, and then have a picture of her wearing you know just a a blouse. And the kilted skirt with the sash, and maybe the mini medals on the sash or something that, like that. that. Okay. Um, yeah. Do two different things. I'm not saying she shouldn't wear the mini medals. She earned them. Like she deserves oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah. 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 Um, how it's absolutely. Look aesthetic. Yeah. It's. I'm yeah. just going more for the aesthetic. So if you're not sure, take pictures of them both and hang it on the fridge, and then let her kind of live with it, and let you live with it if you want to have an opinion on it, um, and just kind of you know look at it for a couple days and just, you may say, you know, I don't like it. I'm going to go with the traditional blouse. Or she may say, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm going for it. Then have at it. Now, yeah, um, you stole my thunder with the one idea. I was going to say, <laughs> you may be doing the sash and putting the mini the mini medals or the, you know, just the ribbons on the sash could be a way to play it. Um, I do not understand military dress uniform etiquette. So, protocol. Yeah. Or protocol. So this may not be appropriate to say, but um, there are types of jackets which will look good uh, with a kilted skirt, um, which are meant to be worn as part of a, a woman's skirted ensemble. I'm thinking basically of a bolero jacket. And it could be that there is a more feminine type of jacket uh, that's open at the front that she could wear and put the ribbons on that. But since it's a softer line, would be more in keeping with the, the overall shape and tone of the kilted skirt. So ask her if she's interested in doing something like a bolero jacket uh, as an alternative. Um, that's, is it a bolero jacket or a gaucho jacket? She'll know what I mean. <laughs> but, uh, um, but yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if there's a, a protocol that says, you know, you really can't wear the ribbons on anything except a formal, you know, mess jacket or something like that. But, um, yeah, those are, I think those are two ideas that hopefully would help. The one thing I'll point out as well, since we're talking about sashes and medals. Yeah. <clears throat> um, mini medals, I believe, are always worn on the, you know, basically over your heart, you know, left side. Yep. And a sash is typically worn on the right side. Mm -hmm. um, unless you are the wife or the girlfriend of a clan chief, then you have the right to wear it on the left shoulder. Yeah, and then right you, could yeah. Yeah, you could attach it there um, versus or Highland Dancer, um, you know, kind of thing. But the, you know, typically the women wear a sash over the right shoulder and then it crosses at the left hip. So 
then then that question kind of begs the question of would you just pin the medals to the shirt if she chooses to go yeah, with the blouse yeah. um, versus on the sash or itself. Do you, or do you say that that's an outmoded convention or yeah. a convention, not a hard rule and wear the sash where you want to wear the sash? Yeah. I don't know. I'll go even further. I'll say maybe she should wear a man's kilt. Maybe she should ditch the, the ankle length kilted skirt and she'd actually wear a men's kilt the same way a woman who's a member of a pipe band would be wearing the same uniform as the male members of the pipe band. Maybe she should just go for broke with uh, men's type uh, formal wear instead. True. Uh, 